Time to wish. Time to fish. Woo! Woo! So here we are, welcome back, another episode, Fish and Wish and Life, family and I just got to uh, Monkey Maya turn off, about to do the last 133 k's before we get to Monkey Maya, quick stop off in Denham, pretty good trek coming here, so pretty, pretty safe, pretty good, no issues really, did it with the two kids, they uh, were flawless the whole way, so that's uh, pretty good. So once we get to Monkey Maya, we'll uh, set up camp. We're not in a cabin this time, so uh, we've got a new sort of 10 person tent. So we'll set that up, get the glamping happening, get the fridge out, and then once we set up, we'll put the boat in the drink. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, stay with us. And I'll take you on this journey. Yoo! So we just pulled up to uh, Monkey Maya. This whole place is controlled by Department Parks and Wildlife. So you generally have to pay an entry fee as well as your accommodation, obviously. Um, I think for two kids and two adults, a family, a four week pass is like $60. Um, and clear, there's day passes as well you can buy, but yeah. Oh, it begins, Paulie. It's Monkey Maya. Boat launched. Don't see how many crabs we got, eh? All right, here we go. Pulling a pot. What are we gonna have? Here we go. And crab, baby. Thanks for coming. Shark day. Size. Size crab, there you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, size the crabs need to be, uh, I can't even remember. 127, that's right. 127. Gonna uh, we'll pull the last pot and then we'll 
chuck on some lures, see if we can get some shark mackies real quick. Spotted mac, sorry. Spotted mac, not shark mac. Let's go. Where's the last one? Been so far, Paulie. Yeah, pretty good. Been catching, all right. Catching 20 plus a day, so 20 plus crabs a day. Monkey yeah. Maya does all right. Good old Shark Bay. Yeah, people whiting every day. So nice. but yeah, been loving it, killing it. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. All right, let's pull this next one. Two sex. We have Paulie. Nada. Nada! It's called fishing, not catching. Another crab. Probably size, I reckon size. Easy, easy, easy. Let's have a look. 127. Oh, easy. Easy 127. Another reason why coming to Monkey Myers, all right, eh? Known for the dolphins. A little bit of a play, we'll just sit here idle. Pretty sick. Batches. What are we cooking? So uh, this one's the sweet chili. On the wok. Sweet chili crab on the wok. And this one's the old famous salt and pepper for the kids. Salt and pepper for the kids. On the wok. Oh, so good. If you haven't got a wok, you should get a wok. snippet it was the bowl was full of scraps which now we'll use for bait maybe now we're just gonna go check the boat make sure yeah, it's still it's there right wind's about to pick up so probably just chill out tonight have a few beers but yeah looking forward to going out for a fish and then we'll see what happens singing singing Get him on the beach. Yeah, 50 pound braid. Thanks for coming. Oh, Paul, he's reeling it. At three minutes, Paul. Three minutes. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, big mull away. Get it in, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Big mullers. Yes. Yeah. Bring it up.
Yeah. <laughs> oh, Paulie, how's that, bro? Oh, yes. Phew. That is awesome. Look at that Mulloway. Monkey Mire, Shark Bay, fishing, incoming tide. Look at that. That would be oh, probably 17, I'd say 17 kilos, I reckon. That is a beast. Phew. Alright, day two of night fishing. Obviously you saw Paulie caught that massive mull away the uh, night prior to this one. And now it looks like he's on again. Using there, Polly. One of the old favourite, Paternoster. Paternoster. My go-to. Old Paternosti. Look at that real thing. Appreciate the sound of that Saragossa SW10000. Right, what do we have? What do we have? Nah, I think it's silver. Yep, yeah, Mulloway. Another Mully. Yep, another Mulloway. You good? Bring it in. Nicely done. Get it in. There you go. Walk back. Yep. There you go, boy. Happy days. Another mull away. Look at that. Part an Oster hook. Not as big as the uh, the one he caught the other night, but hey, love a lee. Just get the uh, get the bogey grips out. Gonna find them here, so Paul will get a good shot of it. But yeah, it's a pretty sick fish. He is the Mulloway King at the moment, which is uh, bloody amazing. So, give me two secs. Let's get the bogeys. Yeah, I got the bogeys. Hold up. All right, I got the bogeys. So. Uh, Get Paulie to uh, lift it up. I'll give you a good look. Stay tuned. What about, what about the young there you go. Another one, Paulie. Yes. How's that feel? Yeah, not as big as the other night, but still pretty happy. Pretty happy with that. Good. Land based fishing, Shark Bay, Monkey Mire at its best right there. You keep wishing, baby. Feel good to carry this back, Paulie. Well, better this time. At least you're helping me this time. <laughs> yeah. All right. What are you doing there, Paulie? Oh, just making some steaks, mate. Some steaks. Some steaks. Some steaks, he reckons. Filleting uh, this nice mull away right now. days in um, it's about day three now it's been blowing up an absolute storm here like the first time it's ever blown up uh, that I've actually come here so it's really really weird um, but anyways next few days uh, the wind should die down and then hopefully we can uh, get the boat out and get some fish but yeah stay tuned and we'll see how we go oh, all right it's a beautiful day it's day four that we're here Finally got some good weather, so we're going to uh, launch the boat now at Monkey Mire. Um, good boat, boat facilities here for those uh, who want to get out and get a fish. 
you can see there's plenty of boats uh, getting ready to go and then there's obviously some uh, boats heading out there probably gonna head to Cape Perrin north side of Monkey Mire um, so it's pretty good everyone's picking up on the weather so it's awesome definitely got to be good with weather reading etc um, because you know safety first but yeah all right let's uh, get the boat launched and uh, see how we go all right we're sitting at about 0.95 meter tide and if you're crossing across the uh, sandbank it can be a bit shallow so take your time so as you can see not much tide there so but we're gonna make it because uh, here's the deep water out here so uh, that's pretty close eh Paulie? Ooh. Just, just mate, just. Alright, now we'll put the uh, trim down, get it going, happy days. That's how you do it baby. Alright, let's get out to our spots and see if we can get some blue bone or whatever else for a bit of fun. Stay tuned. What do you reckon? Don't worry about mine, it will be a little... What do you reckon, a little Mackie? Yep, little Mackie. Yeah, yeah, sick. Yeah. There you go, bro. That's it, watch my line. Yeah, there you go. How's that, Paulie? Yeah, baby. Trawling for Mackies? All on the edge of him. Far out. Alright, let's get him in the boat. Going. All right, we're going to get him. Yes. There we go. All right, watch your feet. Now these taste so good fresh. All right, I'll give him a bit of a uh, see if he's size. There you go. First fish of the day, bro. Yes. All right, so, just get sorted here. Trawling the uh, Shimano Tigra 30 wide there. Trawling a uh, pretty decent deep diver, six six uh, six meters. And then we've got the Halco Laser Pro, two and a half meter. So it's good to obviously cover your depths deep. So that would duck uh, the Tigra is trawling about nine meters, eight to nine meters deep, and the Halco Pro is roughly two and a half meters to five meters. So you're covering those ranges, and then they're quite wide apart. Speed, I'm doing about, sort of about eight knots. So if you do about eight knots, some lures can handle it, some can't. But clearly the tip of the rod needs to be doing this sort of vibration. Um, but yeah, oh, here we go. Paulie's got the old uh, Mackie. Uh, how, how long was that? Almost 70 centimeters, eh? Yeah, spot on. Yeah, so uh, that's gonna be a good feed. Now let's yeah, get some good, more, eh? Good little fight. It's uh, be good. Sick. <laughs> Probably gonna get crossed up on my other one here, but uh, all right, just trawling and just went off on the Halco. I'm gonna call a spotted Mac. Hopefully, I don't get tangled in the other line. Key with this is keep attention. Oh, a few head shakes there. Arms, a few head shakes. Like I said, trawl a uh, deep diver and a shallow halco or similar. 
just like that and these taste amazing there you go i can check those teeth out oh. but yeah awesome to catch on the troll but yeah these, these waters are full of them but uh yeah we'll keep wishing keep uh keep fishing and see if we can get some more Yo! the mackies are loving seven knots at the moment um, so we'll hold seven knots really gotta have the lures most lures can do seven knots um, but yeah Let's uh, get him in. Don't even feel like it's on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Grab the leader, walk back, walk back a bit, walk back, walk back. There we go. There you go, Paulie. Oh, oh, and in the bucket. bucket. Oh, there he goes. Oh, clearly with our old, you know, big bertha there. <laughs> you don't really feel it. There you go, there's uh, number three. There you go, Paulie. Yeah, look at the side of the head. Look at the side of the head, look at that. Look at his, look at his key fish. He's right in there. Teeth, hook marks, he was not coming off. Yep. Fish on here. Sean's on. Look at this. So we just finished trawling. I thought we'd try some bottom bouncing. First drop, and he's on. First drop, what do we have here? Oh, a bit of head shakes going on. Look at that, I didn't realize I had something until the freaking uh, line just started peeling in the opposite direction. It's pretty heavy, got a decent head shakes on it. First drop. Not sure, I mean, we're in Mackey, spotted Mac territory, we haven't moved too far. Using my old vexed bottom meat jig from uh, we love to use in Perth. Oh yeah, big cod. Yes. All right, let's get the old net out. Oh yes, that is a beautiful tasting fish. That is a gold spotted rock cod. And for those that don't know, these taste absolutely amazing. These gold spotted rock cod, caught them in, in Mackerel Islands. You would have seen um, one of my posts. I caught it quite a large one on the trawl. You catch one of these, you will be very, very happy and not disappointed. And that is a perfect eating size. How's that, bro? Freaking sick, sick. Yes! Woo! All right, I'll just get the hook out and um, We'll let you have a look. I right, watch the spikes on them because they hit, they hurt. Get them up. There you go. How's that? Gold spotted rock cod. Perfect size eating fish. Woo! How's the colours on that? How's the mouth? Caught on a 150 gram vexed bottom meat jig. Bit of sweet.
All right, back home, safe at the boat ramp. Good day today. So, uh, got a few Mackies and nice gold spotted rock cod. So we'll get them prepped for a bit of bit of barbecuing. And yeah, tomorrow will be a full day of fishing. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the morning. How'd you get? Restock. Okay, there's a hole in the bottom. Did they restock? Yeah, I've got a kilo of muleys. Oh, they had muleys? Oh, in little bags, but oh. two kilos of squid. Oh, yeah. Fucking, we'll smash that today. Bait up, restock. We'll um, get back on the water. So it's um, clearly another good day of weather. So we'll. Um, Get the boat launched. Uh, head towards Foray Island again, I think. Didn't get any blue bones yesterday, so kind of hanging for some blue bones. Um, but yeah, it's clearly fishing, uh, not catching. But yesterday was a good day with the three Mackies and the uh, one gold spotted rock cod, one of my favorite fishes. Um, so yeah, get out there, give you some uh, tips on what we're doing. Any questions, just uh, you know, give us a DM and I'll be happy to help and uh, put you in the right direction. And it took me a while to sort of figure it out for Monkey Maya. Um, still learning, to be honest, as we all do. Every, never, you're never not learning in this world we live in. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. And I'll keep you up to date. Stay tuned. Yo! Uh, that wind is completely dying off out here. Fucking Paulie's getting ready for some action. And he's prepped, hyped and ready to go. Ooh. It's bloody low tide as you can see. Bloody boat's all the way down there. All right. Yo. Here we go. Oh, let's just take some time to uh, Enjoy this lovely glass off right now. Turn the motors off. This is what it's all about. Not even having started fishing yet. We're just like, oh my god. The water of hitting the hull. Oh, so good. All right, let's go fishing. I think we have a Mackie. Look at him go. Ah. Back spot of meat. I reckon we have spotted Mac on. He's hooked pretty good. So I don't think uh, he will be going anywhere. First fish, bro. Yes, mate. Yes. Very good. No trawling required. There we go. First fish of the day. Old school mackerel. So good. I do love the taste of these. Uh, do taste rather good. So I reckon we'll keep him. He'll be coming home. You. He doesn't love the sound of that noise. That is amazing. Just put a floater in. Go, Paulie. It's yours, bro. Grab that. That's going to be hard. Leave the tension nice and loose because he's going to be maybe a tiny bit more. But 
It's only 20 pounds, so we've got to be nice and easy. Oh, how good's that on the small rod? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Oh. oh, yes. That's amazing. On the surface. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> How good's that on the small rod? We got colour. We got colour. Whoa. Alright, where's he going? Try and pull him over that way. Another Mac Jack. Another Mac Jack. Oh no. No. Something no, else. No, something else. Cod. Oh no, grassy snapper. <gasps> Do not lose it. Do not lose it. Easy. 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 <laughs> Blue <Yeah>! line <laughs> from baby! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Polly! Yes! Now that is what you call a blue lined emperor slash grass snapper, baby. You, Bully! Yeah, my man, my boy. Oh, yeah, we are happy as. How good is that? We'll get him out and um, let you have a look. Just give us a sec. Yeah, floaters. Now, just get my size then. Phone. Yeah, so I think these only need to be, it's either 28 or 32. I can't remember actually. So because I can't remember, I'm going to say 32 just to be on the safe side. Because if you go bigger length, at least you know you'll be uh, all right and the fisheries won't get you. Because no one wants that. So make sure you know your limits when it comes to fishing WA waters. Now, I said it was 28 or 32. Um, Blue Line Emperor is 32. It's a five star eating fish according to Wreckfish West. Gotta love the boys over and girls at Wreckfish West who give us this app, which uh, shows us all the fish that you can catch in the different regions of WA. It is really helpful. Um, but yeah, 32. This one needs to be Oh, I think I've got a fish on there, possibly. No, that will be, that's a 50, 50 centimeter blue line emperor. You yes, boy, yes. How good's that? Nice work, buddy. Nice, nice job. Spike me now, fuck yeah. Yeah, baby. There we go. Blue line emperor, 50 centimeters. That is such a good eating size fish. So happy. Look at the eyes, the blue eyeliner there on him. He, mate, I want to kiss you. Come here. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yo! All right. We are another floater. No, but no weight. Just floating seven meters of water. And we are got another one on. Not sure what it is. It might be. Old snapper. Could be a blue line emperor. Grass slash grass snapper. Obviously, we know these waters are renowned for them. A lot of people come up here. With light gears, only 20 pound line. Oh, and another. We're going off. It's all on here. It's all on. Oh, oh it's all on. Shit. I got, I got, I got. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Keep the line tensed. Paulie's on as well. Woo. It's all going off. Oh, I'm trying to rewind and <laughs> GoPro at the same time here. Didn't put any of the straps on. <laughs> but we're all going. Whew. What bait and uh, what method are we using? Oh, what is that? Oh, shark Mackie. Yeah. All right, you got a shark Mac. All right, you got to go over me. Woo! Listen to it. All right, what do I got? I reckon I've got a blue line emperor. I reckon we'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, and I got another blue line. Nice. <coughs> all right, might get the net for that. We do not want to lose this guy. Oh, he's singing. He's singing. So we changed up the method. What were we using before? So we're bottom bouncing before. And we thought we'll just bur anchor up, burly up. Still got the pattern off, on the bottom. And so we'll just throw a couple of floaters out the back. And it's been game on. Game on. There you go, there's another. Let's get him in the net. 
There you go, landed. Another blue lined emperor. Oh, dinner is served. And that's that's it. You just gotta. Oh, he's gone. Alright, we'll get him in a minute. I'll just put this out of the way. Paulie don't uh, step on the old get the net. Far out. Fishing wish your life needs a bigger boat, I think. <laughs> it's all happening. Alright, I'll leave him there. Alright. Oh, how's that on light gear? <laughs> that's awesome! Alright, now we just uh oh, God. Get this hook out of this dude. Oh yeah, go around there. There you go. Alright, try and keep him out there. Alright, I'll just quickly, because we're going to need the net, so I'm going to have to be quick here to get Paulie's fish. Because uh, we don't want to leave it too long, clearly. Um, Alright. Yeah, yep, so here's my fish. I'm just going to leave it there. Try not to step on the hooks. It's all happening here. Okay. Oh, he's running. Alright, here we go. It's all happening. Fish your wish alive. <coughs> Two mad dogs here fishing the tide. Shark Bay, Monkey Maya. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Clearly, if you like it, like the action, hit the subscribe button, follow us on Instagram. Make sure you tag Fish and Wish and Life. Time to time to fish, time to wish. And yeah, look forward to seeing all your fishing adventures. Yoo! Right. Another fish on. As you can see, Paulie got another blue line emperor. Uh, it's all happening here. Light gear. Honestly, nothing beats it. And of course, nothing beats the northwest of Western Australia. You! Far out. Let's see what happens. Oh, let's see if we can get him up. Surprisingly, we haven't caught a shark yet, which I'm like stoked about. The old beef sticks. Daiwa beef sticks, these are such cheap rods. They look cool and they're powerful as. Oh, that's a good fish. Looks like a good fish. It's, a, um, it's not a Mackie. Not a Mackie? No. Can't see what it is. You've got color. Shark. Oh, Gummy. first catfish. Oh, there's a Mackie there. All right, here we go. So we're just sitting there. I said to Paulie, what if we caught a mulloway during the day? Haven't done that in a while. So anyways, thought just sitting there and all of a sudden something heavy just took mine, spat it and then bang, 30 seconds after, went for uh, Paulie's on the Paternoster and bang, look at that. Look, that is. That is 14 kilos. Oh, that is a big boy. We'll uh, get him up so you can see. I'll pick him up. Get him up. And, uh, we'll be keeping him clearly. Uh, there you go. How's that? You. <laughs> 15 kilo mulloway. Now that is a good feed right there. Time to fish, time to wish. You! Honestly, what a day. Absolutely cracker. Anyways, the wind's about to come up. It's uh, 10 to 2. Got a uh, really good feed of fish. So uh, get back in. Show you a quick look at uh, everything that we've got. So we've got enough, definitely enough to feed the families. Haven't taken the piss or anything like that. Uh, you know, generally only take a few 
How do you reckon today went, Paulie? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, eh? Pretty successful day. So. Yeah, bloody awesome. Nothing like double hookup, triple hookups, all on the boat. Um, show you our catch bag in a sec. Quite a few fillets in there. We'll just get them scaled up, and then I'll um, get them in bags, give away to some of the family, and then, uh, yeah, cook up some for tea. So anyway, stay tuned. See ya. Another good day fishing done. Absolutely, as you saw, as you saw, it was a killer session. So, uh, yeah, now it's time to pack up, get the uh, camping gear all put away, and get ready for the big trek uh, back down to Perth. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you uh, like our videos, hit the subscribe button on YouTube that follow button on Instagram. So yeah, keep wishing.